If you're like me, you're probably working on multiple things in Microsoft Edge at the same time. You have many tabs open and you're in the middle of many things. So it can be really frustrating if you accidentally close everything down and all those tabs are gone, or maybe your computer decides to restart itself. There's a way to make sure that doesn't happen. I'll teach you how to start where you left off in Microsoft Edge today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today I want to show you how to customize your Microsoft Edge startup tabs and that's so that you can start where you left off and you don't have to remember what tabs you had open, you don't have to go open them all again, and you don't lose what you were working on. You can increase your efficiency quite a bit by making this change in your Microsoft Edge. It allows you to start where you left off, as I said before. It also helps that you don't have to remember what you were working on. It helps remind you what you were in the middle of, and there's no longer anxiety around accidentally closing it or having the computer close it down. Let's look at how to do this. Here we are in Microsoft Edge, and this is how my Microsoft Edge opens up. It opens to a new tab, and it's ready to go for me to do a search or use one of these shortcuts down here. However, I usually have multiple tabs open. I might have one where I am researching something. I might have another tab where I'm logged into my Microsoft account. And I might have another tab where I'm shopping for something. Now I have all these tabs and it would be really frustrating if I accidentally clicked on the X and closed this or if the computer restarted and I lost all of the tabs that I was working on. So the way that we can set Microsoft Edge to remember our tabs is up here we go to the three dots in the upper right corner and then we go down to near the bottom where it says settings and then in our settings, we want the Start, Home, and New tabs on the left-hand side. And we're really focusing on this first section today. You can see it's set to open the new tab page. So if I was to close this out right now, this Microsoft Edge, and open back up, my tabs would not be there. I would just have one of those new tabs that looks like that, and that's all I would have. If I choose the second option, I can open tabs from the previous session. What this means is it would remember everything that I had open and where I left off, and that's what it would open the next time I open Microsoft Edge. Are you learning something new from this video and you'd like to see more videos in the future? If so, you can click the subscribe button that's below this video. Once you do that, you'll see a bell icon. If you click on the bell, you'll receive notifications each time a new video is posted. The third option, is if I wanted to set specific pages to open when I open Microsoft Edge. And so you can add new pages, you can use all of the current tabs that are open. There's lots of options for this. I highly recommend using either the second or the third option. The third option is very helpful if you always get into the same things every time you get into Microsoft Edge. And the second option is really helpful if you find that you always have a lot of tabs open and you're in the middle of working on projects. So today we will look at this second option, open tabs from the previous session. This is an auto save page. So I could close out of my settings and then I could close out of Microsoft Edge and then I can open it back up. And now you can see it opened right to those same tabs, and it even has the tab open that was open when I closed Microsoft Edge. So it takes you right back to where you were. If you decide you don't like this or you need to make a change, you want to set the exact tabs that are going to open, you can go back up to your dots, to settings, and again, start home and new tabs on the left. And then you can make your changes here. And again, remember this page is auto save. So whatever you select, it will automatically change to that the next time you close Edge and open it back up. I hope this was helpful information for you and that you're able to implement this to help you save time, frustration, anxiety, lots of things just by clicking a couple buttons to get to this setting change. 
Remember, this is a great tool for your efficiency. It helps you remember where you left off, or if you just decide to set which pages you want to open every time you open Microsoft Edge, that saves you a ton of time of opening your email and your calendar and all the things that you typically open each time you get into Microsoft Edge. If you still feel like you need help with this or any other tech challenge, feel free to schedule a tech stress breakthrough call with me. You can do that by clicking the heart in the monitor that's above me now, or you can go to my website, which is gatewayproductivity.com, click on the Let's Talk button, and schedule your time. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.